What is up guys, DZ here. Today we are back randomly spectating some duels in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Master Duel has a feature called Duel Live where you can watch finished duels and kind of spectate and see what people were playing and see what combos they tried to pull off. Now I don't think that these are completely random because it seems like in all of these duels at least one person is playing something a bit weird, but overall it is a really fun experience and especially at the end of a live stream after I've played a bunch of games, it's pretty funny to just watch these randomly played games games and see what people are using. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to check out the video from a couple days ago where I also watched random duels in Master Duel, but without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the clips. Uh, pause? We have Drytron, Magician of Chaos, Blue Eyes Chaos Max, Gold 2 player versus Gold 3 player. What will this Drytron player do? He is gonna get ashed and pass. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jeez. Yep. That's pretty good. Oh, normal song make Link Rebo. Yep. Might as well. It can be used in the graveyard, right? Just like the other one. Yep. Here we go. Set three. Okay, interesting. One monster could be really good right here. Oh, do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, what are we making with this? Phoenix? Nice. Okay, this guy knows what he's doing. No, he got skill drained. Oh, he's playing familiar possessed. Weird. I almost lost to a skill drain familiar deck one time. Off stream. Oh, wow. Aruru. Okay. Unaffected by trap effects? Chat, that's not why. Oh, he did. Wait, hold on. So it was unaffected. Yeah, okay, gotcha. And then he just couldn't be targeted. Okay, sure. And then he got kaiju Not enough for lethal. Okay, what can you do with one card against skill drain? I want to see evenly matched. I'll lose my mind. The Drytron cards resolve under skill drain. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Is it activate resolve? It's not like an on summon effect. Okay. That doesn't work, but it would have been nice. Wait, oh no, he, he just had to make something. Yeah, he didn't have another card he could make. Sorry, I'm not gonna make fun of you for that. This guy's like the best player in the world. I don't wanna make fun of him when he actually made the only play that he could have made. And then activate the effect just for BM. I mean, I've done that too, I get it. Tribute Medionis for <laughs> Chaos Max. Out the Aruru. Um, okay. But this Chaos Max is affected by the skill drain. Missed lethal? Wait, what? Oh, he could have attacked this one! No, dude! Oh, but I mean, he's a good player, but he can't count. I feel the same way most of the time. I feel like I'm all right at playing, but I can't count for shit. So I get this. So the last one, I can't believe it, but this card actually came in clutch because uh, it stopped the skill drain from affecting the first Chaos Max. Pretty crazy. Tornado, okay. Seems kind of bad, but sure. Just to get him in defense, I guess. Uh, oh, oh, cool. So that dodges the seal drain, nice. Going for light charmer, sure. The seal drain is gonna kind of stop everything. Pass, okay. Cyber Emergency. I've never been so excited for a dry trumble. <gasps> he got judgmented! No way, it's gonna add itself back. What are you doing? Wait, is that not what the card does? You have to discard a card too? I actually didn't know that. I feel kind of stupid for not knowing that. I've just never negated it. I didn't realize that you had to discard a card. It's my bad. Never realized that. 400 life points kind of feels silly against uh, Chaos Max. Sure. Oh wow, I don't even know what that card is. Possessed Partnership, okay. So, this should be lethal, right? Oh, that comes out in defense, never mind. And that revives. And that, what? And this destroys? 
Special summon a monster, then if you have two different attributes, destroy one face of card in the field. Holy shit. This guy has the Buster Lock with Skill Jay on the field. That's kind of rough. Go for Drytron. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. I want to see the BOS link. That'd be pretty good. Nightmare Unicorn. That's enough! No, it's not. It's 50 off or whatever. That doesn't do anything. Oh, what are we going for? Phoenix. Sure. No, he scooped. He couldn't. Wait, didn't he have, like, lethal there, depending on what his extra deck was? Oh, to time limit! I think that the uh, Chaos Max player absolutely deserved that, by the way. I don't know what the fuck just happened right there. Axis Code was just lethal? 23? It was! Axis Code was lethal! Oh, man, he totally won. He had it. Oh! Okay, is this Sacred Beast, or is it Eldritch? Wood Sacred Beast Engine. Oh shit, no, it's Sacred Beast, okay. So, well, what is he making here, Anaconda? There's no really good card to summon the Anaconda. Excuse me? Is he gonna summon the Fusion? I don't think he has enough cards to do that. There's no way. Like, he already used the Special Summoner, okay. Well, I will give him this. Fallen Paradise is gonna have to force a Conquistador pop, so that's pretty good. Wiper Blaze, what does this even do? What's going on? Skilljian's kind of fucky though. But it's special. Oh, add to your hand or special. It's okay, it's optional. There's no generic trading for level 10s, no. There's one for level 9s, level 6, and level 8. So hilariously, this guy has zero interruptions set. I mean, he has a skill drain, but that doesn't stop a 4,000 attack monster. Yeah, this actually might be kind of tough. This turn, at least. Um, next turn, it should be pretty easy. Dude, this guy's gaining so much life because this guy keeps summoning huge-ass monsters. Oh, that's really lame. You know? Was that the worst play in the world? Tributing Raviel and two monsters for Raviel. That had to not be right. Dude, he still can't fucking out a Raviel. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be pretty good though. What is this Hyperblaze setting up? I hope I'm about to eventually see like the biggest Uriah. There's no traps in Grave, by the way, so I don't know what I'm talking about. How does the Sacred Beast player lose? Last turn, the Eldritch guy outed the Fallen Paradise by discarding an Eldritch, and he can also Conquistador pop it. Dude, this guy has 17,000 life points, by the way. This card is so fucking funny. I love that because he's at fucking 17,000 life, he can just uh, keep this guy in attack mode, he doesn't even really care about it. Um, do you know you have skill gene on the board, sir? Wait, um, is he gonna OTK through 33,000 life points? Because it's not an activated effect, so this doesn't even negate it. This has been the longest, most boring game ever, but this ending was... Oh wait, what? Oh, because it's the difference, and then once he attacked him one time... Did he have lethal if he attacked the zero attack monster? He was 900 off? Oh, okay. Oh my god, Uriah got summoned. No, no, no! Wait. What? Oh, let the first one go through to put the Eldritch in grave? Okay, see, I'm not going to skip around these replays anymore until we get funny decks, because clearly they all have been chosen for a reason. 